Hi guys again. So today we are going to do Sherlock Sam and the Missing Harlow in Cartoon Chapter 5. Now, let's start. This place smells of delicious food, I said. We had just opened the door to Auntie Caban's cooking classroom. We stood at the doorway, served the large room, which had multiple cooking stations. Each station had a portable stove and mini oven. At the front of the class was a large table, which was the teacher's table. What are you all doing here? A voice suddenly said behind us. Ah! Jimmy cried, causing all of us to jump. The book that he was holding tumbled onto the floor. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you, Jane said. A, long, a young lady said. Jane, it's you. You gave us all a shock, Auntie Kinnan said. I saw you heading with children and a robot when I was coming out of the library. I was curious, Jane said. This is my grandson, Jimmy, and his two school friends, Samuel and Wendy. The robot belongs to Samuel, Auntie Kinnan replied, ghosting in my direction. So cute, Aunt Jim Jan said, pinching my cheeks ignoring Watson completely. How's your trap tray coming along, Jane? Auntie Kimlin asked. Terrible! I've always overstew or understew it. I also think I'm much, I may be putting it too much cabbage. We'll go through it again tomorrow, okay? Auntie Kimlin said. Cabbage makes me fart sometimes, I said, to no one's in peculiar. Well, that, well, that's not the only thing that makes you fart, Wendy replied. I have a list of fail things that have made you fart since yesterday, Wilton said. Wendy snickered. Wilton, please help me look around the rest of the room, I said quietly. Robots are always stealthy, Wilton replied. Auntie Kalan went to the tables. Uh, went to the teacher's table to, to check the drawers, but her recipe book was nowhere to be found. Oh dear, it hasn't been here either. I honestly don't know where I could have left it. Auntie Kanan said, looking more and more worried. If I had known if this is not safely at home all this time, I would have gone through this drawers last week. Don't worry, Auntie, I'll find it, I replied. I didn't want to see Auntie Kanan so upset. I decided to investigate Aunt Kinnan's teacher's table again for clues. I opened a drawer and found a transport ring folder what looked like an attendance sheet for Auntie Kinnan's class. Auntie, is this an attendance sheet for your class? I asked, waving the file in the ear. Yes, it is, dear, Auntie Kinnan replied. Watson, Wendy, and Jimmy started to make their way towards me. We looked at the attendance sheet together. Everyone had written down their name, telephone number, email address, and an allowed it rows. Each row listed in sequence the dishes the class that would be learning in every class. Oath, Cap, Oath, Cap Chai, KPT, Poya, I can go SM, Quilapses, Baby Bongdong and it can Tim this week. The difficulty was centrally wrapping up. Just then I noticed that Jimmy had picked up a piece of paper from the floor that was going to throw it away in the near dustbin. Jimmy, what you holding? I asked. This? Nothing important. I'm going to throw it away. You shouldn't litter, you know, Jimmy said. Not important? Unlikely. Jim, Wendy and Jimmy crowded around me to look at the piece of paper. Wilson stood in front of the student's workstation and appeared to be in a conversation with an electric mixer. Wow, this person's handwriting is even worse than yours, Jimmy, Wendy said. My handwriting isn't that bad, Jimmy said, slightly offended. It's for back on... Captain, Wendy said. I recognize some of the ingredients. 
you can cook? Jimmy asked. Mom has taught me a few things here and there. When he said with a self suffied it look. I bet you won't eat. I bet you won't. And I wouldn't even eat your. I bet you even I won't eat your cooking. I said. When he slapped me on my head from behind. Ouch! What's an attack? I commanded, pointing at my sister. You have not installed any program. In, you have not installed any attack program to me. Woodson said. I made a note to change that as soon as I got home. I took Lan and Jane were talking about someone who had left the class, so I walked over to where Watson was. Did the electric mix to tell you anything important, Watson? I asked. Nothing important. Her head was spinning, Watson replied. I wonder if I could install a better humor program in Watson as well. But back to the case at hand. I was curious, if Auntie Command didn't leave it at Kato Auntie's house or at her cooking class, then there had to be somewhere else she went. Then something clicked in my head. Jimmy, did you check out that copy of the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I asked, remembering I had seen Jimmy hold a library copy of the book at Jimmy Jim. No! Mama checked it out for me, Jimmy replied cheerfully. How long ago? I asked. Two weeks ago. I knew it. Auntie Kim and Jane were still talking, but I was anxious to solve the case. It's a shame, Auntie Kim Lan said to Jane. She wasn't very good, but it seemed like she really wanted to learn. Sorry to interrupt you, Auntie, but I have another question, I said. Oh, that's okay, Jane replied. I should get going anyways. I'll see you class tomorrow. Jane left, and Auntie Kalman turned to me after she waved goodbye. You went to the library after your class that Sunday, didn't you? I asked. That's right. Why? Samuel, how did you know that? Auntie Kalman asked. I was amazed. I was right. I went to the cookbook section. Auntie Kim Lan continued, I want to see if there were any new Perkin cookbooks that I could borrow and use in my class. Auntie Kim Lan had already said that she didn't use her family recipes for her class, except for the ones that, well, that one time for a curl of lapsy. Therefore, she had gotten the recipe somewhere, from somewhere. I think we should go to the library, I said. I want to go to the library too. I finished my book. How do you have to go? Do you want to borrow a book? Do we have homework? Jimmy asked. We have been making a paper airplug from sheets of papers with scribbles on it. But what's the homework on? I don't like math, but English pretty son. I was stunned. How could you not love math? Jimmy, I asked incredulously. It's the language of Beauty, take P.I., for instance, at a glance. It's not a ridiculous, awkward number that goes on forever and forever, but it's an infinity that makes it so fantastic. It helps us perfectly describe a circle in ill, its various forms from all its small coins as big as the universe. Complete silence greeted my excitement. There's 67% chance that eating homework will make you fart, Watson said finally. He was inspecting two spectacular ears. The precinct squeezes in your homework contains pie. Not that kind of pie. Arr. Never mind. Can we just please go to the library, I said. Only if Watson can give us more about your sex during about your farting. Wendy snickered. You're definitely more fun uh, than your staff does more fun. Enough about farting. You're also so childless. All the humans laughed, including Uncle Nan. Not being able to find Auntie's recipe book was real again to me. In fact, all unfold mysteries really got to me. Go check the library for me, Kim Lans. Auntie Kim Lans said. I'll tidy you up a bit here and meet you there later. To the library, I shouted, and that's the end of chapter five. Bye. And
don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to say anything about the story, comment below.